So this is the Maybon or Malawon Living Sabbaths video. So the the holiday occurs in the Southern Hem Hemisphere usually between the 20th and 23rd, 22nd of March. And in the Northern Hemisphere it is like the 20th to about the 23rd of September. It is highlighting the autumnal equinox, so it is the time when the day and the night are equal in length. And at this time it is the second harvest festival, so it's one of the cross-quarter sabbats. And it is this time when usually things like apples and certain fruits are in season. And I've noticed that in the environment here it was a time when, yeah, there was definitely large amounts of apples being harvested and pears, um, plums were coming in as well. and. Also, like trees and plants, so there was um, some of the trees were dropping their leaves already, or at least changing colours and dropping leaves. Um, several other plants have started to flower, so I noticed that the guavas were flowering, and a few other plants that I'm not quite sure what they were, which will involve research because they're important to this part. <laughs> and generally, in the the weather changes, so the nights started getting colder, and the mornings were colder. The days were still quite hot and the winds had started to change so we're starting to get a bit more windy um also the weather's been quite dry as well so it was getting to the point where yeah the environment was kind of having i suppose a bit of a balance having that heat and cold balance between day and night and in the wildwood tradition it is the time when the crescent crown goddess will um she travels into the underworld so she adorns the the black veil of the weaver and it is when she enters and surrenders into the mysteries of death that is brought to her by the wolf this uh, her wolf lover who is in the underworld and it's that time where she um, crowns him as the sovereign of the dark but she knows that the light will still return and it is this time to emerge into the mysteries that are death and renewal and rebirth and to do this she must take the wolf as her lover. For me I find at this time of year it is kind of about balancing, it is finding where in your life are you currently overextending yourself and where are you not extending yourself enough and so where are you lacking and where are you overflowing because you need to kind of restore a balance so that you're not constantly burning through everything so quickly but you're also not sputtering and struggling to stay alight so it's definitely a time of reflection um yeah <laughs> just enjoy like wherever the the weather's like where you are like here i'm loving the warmer days and the, the cooler nights mean i get to sleep better so yeah making the most of it is good but yeah, let me know for you what it is like in your environment, what's in flower, what fruits are out, or vegetables, depending on what it is. Um, and yeah, just any observations, and if you belong to a tradi uh, tradition, if there's any story that follows this point in the year. Well, that's it for this one. So much love and blessings, and blessed be. Mwah.